Namaste. Today we are going to study a very important and very interesting topic. The relation between Kathak and Ras. As you know, Ras is not merely a dance form. It is a superior and complete tradition in itself. Ras is such a dance tradition that it is an important and beautiful link between dance, classical dance, theatre, folk and so many. In its, its elemental form, Ras can be classified as a folk dance only. Ras is a unique nationwide popular dance tradition that has traversed the distance from rural heartland to big platforms in metropolitan cities. Ras tradition is observed in states like Gujarat, Manipur, Assam, Bengal and others. In its elemental form, Ras can be classified as a special type of folk dance which being remarkably different in terms of its artistic vibrancy has been able to emerge as a complete form in itself to present its magnificent and powered place amongst other classical dance forms. It is appropriate to address Ras as a dance drama because Ras is such an animated dance yet bound within classical dance norms. In modern times, the Manipuri dance is a fine example of a complete form of Ras, which is why it is accorded with being a classical dance form. In current times, Ras has two popular forms. It is the Ras Leelas of Braj region and the others the Ras Leela of Manipur region. But Ras is not just limited to the Braj or Manipur, but has blossomed as a dance popular everywhere in India. This dance tradition is observed albeit with minor differences in Assam, Gujarat, Uttar Pradesh as we have seen earlier and many other states accepted it as a performing art. Linguistically speaking, the word Ras has emerged from the core word Ras added with tap suffix. The word Ras means that entity from which one can derive Rasa or enjoyment. According to this view, one can classify Ras and Kathak as two classical dance forms of North India. According to the cultural context, be it whichever for the arts, the exchange of traditions kept happening. It is an uncontrollable self-affecting process. This process culminated between Ras and the only classical dance of North India, Kathak. And also we have seen in the Uparupaka forms, the Ras, the Hallisaka, Natya Rasaka, Chalika, the, these are all the traditions that and la, Ras is also in a multiple that Ras is a circular folk dance like is performed in Gujarat or Kolattam in South India and Ras is Leelas that is performed in the Manipur, uh, in uh, North India and so and so forth. Kathak as you know is an ancient dance form. The sons of Lord Rama, Love and Kush can be termed as the first Kathak artist. But the origins of Ras Leela can be traced to the Middle Ages, that is 15th century, and attaining its true form by the middle of 16th century. This way, Ras was able to emerge from being a folk dance tradition to develop itself into a dance drama and become a complete discipline in itself. While discussing on any two of the dance forms, it is important to factor in their historical origins and the allied knowledge. 
be it life or the arts. It requires a proper environment to seek nourishment and development. Evolution is the rule of nature. The art form evolves and develops in the right environment. From 2nd century BC, the Vaishnava sect has been professed and propagated via the Puranic literature. This found its rightful revival and successful establishment in the 16th century by the saint poets and dharma acharyas. This era also saw the formation of the right nourishing environment all across the stable and prosperous India, which provided an opportunity for the arts to proliferate and develop. During the 16th century, the Ras tradition of Braj was able to revive itself. This era is referred as the Middle Ages by the historian. During this era, Mughal rule was at its peak. The rule of Akbar Emperor, Jahangir, and Shah Jahan is referred to as the golden period of the Middle Ages. You have studied this in the history as well. In this period, almost all activities of pertaining to Indian culture were consciously developed in an informed manner. Emperor Akbar held Hindu culture and traditions in high esteem. During his rule and under his command, the staging of famous Ras Leela performances at the Vrindavan were established. Famous historian R. V. George, in his novel, The Science of Indian Music, has confirmed this particular instance. It is worth mentioning here that the era began to be referred to as Bhakti Kala, even when con coinciding it with the rule of Emperor Akbar. Though we call Jayadeva's time as the beginning of the Bhakti cult, that is the 12th century, the era also saw many spiritual leaders and music experts Music teachers such as Sant Haridas, Ramanuja Acharya of Radha Vallab sect, Madhava Acharya, Nimbakara Acharya, and Vallabha Acharya form the Ashtachap Sakha, the poets who wrote countless couplets which began to be sung and performed. In the 15th 16th century, Bhakta Acharya singer and poet. Govind Narayan Bhatt, with support from the Brahmins of Bridge region, used Ras Manch to promote Krishna worship. In the same era, Govind Narayan Bhatt gave the responsibility to enhance Ras dance form to Pandit Vrij Vallab, a famous dancer in the royal court. Though the Bridge Ras form of dance is prevalent in Bridge since centuries, the need for restoration and resurgence of Ras in this era was required and Acharya Vallab dedicated all his knowledge and passion in this task and achieved the goal to the best of his artistic ability. Everyone knows that Acharya Vallab originally hails from the Kathak family of Rajasthan. It is believed that the king of Amir, Jaipur Maharaja Man Singh, had himself appointed Acharya Vallabh, an exponent of the Rajasthani Kathak school, to teach traditional dance to the Brahmin children of the region of Braj and also posted him at Vrindavan. Ganesh Paran, a work created by Acharya Vallabh, finds mention in the opening sequence of Mridanga Sagar, written by Shankar Jit. Ghansham Lalji Pakhavaj Ji of Nathadwara. Famous dancer of Jaipur school, Narayan Prashad Ji, used to enact this Ganesh Paran and the famous Pakhavaj Ji Sarvagiya Purshottam Das Ji would melodiously recreate the song on the Pakhavaj. In the above mentioned era, a famous scholar, Nabadas Ji, in his creation, Bhaktamala, has thrown light on the prevailing scenario. He has praised and created a special couplet for Acharya Vallabh, 
who was originally a dancer. It is as follows. Nrutya bhanu guna nipuna rasame rasa barasavat abalila lalita nadi valita sampatahi rijavata and further. It is, uh, uh, I uh, went through the uh, Krathak Prasang of Rashmi Bajpai and uh, broadly speaking, one needs to know at least two main things in order to learn and understand any form of knowledge. Firstly, its structure and second, its content. It is because of these reasons that Kathak and Ras are interrelated and enjoying symbiotic existence. And illustrated earlier, both these art forms were in close touch with each other during the Middle Ages. Therefore, they were able to influence each other and coincidentally, there was constant exchange of artistic resources. Content was one thing very similar to both art forms and so was the cultural objective. For both the dance forms, the language, dialect and the audience community were also more or less similar. Both dance forms give significance to Krishna Leela and devotional mood in their content. Many couplets, poems, thematic bear closeness and resemblance. It is both a matter of surprise as well as sorrow that a majority of Kathak and Ras artists are oblivious of this piece of knowledge. Various regional and folk forms of culture were expressed in different manner in the Ras performances. The present form of Ras seen in Manipuri Ras dance style is actually inherited from 18th century. In that era, the existing Manipuri folk dance was given a blend of Ras by the Ras masters to create a technical and disciplined dance form and establish the foundation stone of Manipuri Ras. It has been able to establish its own identity as a classical dance art. This form of Ras is different than that the one is performed in bridge region. Ras as a form has its origins in the bridge region only. This region has been melting pot for numerous arts and is the nerve center for most arts of the North India. Charan, Kalavand, Bhat, Kirtankar, Dadi, Natwa, Kathak, etc. all music loving communities found favorable nourishing ground here. Many dances such as Chanchar, Dhamar, Fag, Hori, Las Leela and Maharas still continue to be performed in the northern region and have become synonymous with the social and spiritual way of life in Braj. Braj Ras Leela originally took root in Braj itself and over a course of time it spread its presence to regions such as Vrindavan. Bridge Ras Leela and Kathak, both dance forms show similarity in age, locale and costume. Therefore, there are very many structural and generic similarities which at times are unmistakably alike. Kathak primary has two components, Tal and Bha. All creations are presented within the realm of these two components. Similarly, Braj Ras Leela has also made up of two components. The first is called the Ras, in which Radha and Krishna dance along with the group of Gopi. An interesting point to note here is that the standards used in Kathak are the same as that used in this prologue part of Braj Ras Leela. The same standards which were instrumental in forming the skeleton of Kathak, the Tatkar, the same standards such as sounds, Tai, Tat, coupled with the mixed syllables for Rasadari practice. Without perfecting this practice, no Ras or Ras Kathak dancer can call himself or herself to be a good dancer. 
Dhamar talis used in Kathak dance form to dance and similarly the prologue part of Ras. The dancers dance to Dhamar tal. Apart from this, many other syllables used in Kathak are also repeated in Ras like Tat Tat Thut Thut Tigda Dig Dig Thai. Both Ras and Kathak make use of rhythmic syllables. Takit, dhikit, dhilang, tadim, tik, takadim, and others. During the dance performance in Ras, all actors mu make use of Aral Hastamudra, which is also often used in Kathak performances. Apart from syllables, there is a similarity in rhythm and beats between Ras and Kathak. Different dance troops put on different styles of Ras performances. Some perform the whole dance in Ghamar Tal, while some use combination of Ghamar and Teen Tal and sing their dance steps on all syllables. In Ras, one can also spot Dugun, Chogun rhythm and just like Kathak, the main tempo rises gradually. Ras uses Thai Tat Tatha, Thai Tat Tatha, Thai Tat Tatha syllables frequently. The syllables which are predominantly used also in Kathak. Whichever Ras troop may present the performance, these syllables are used without fail. Each character in each performance is used this, this Tihai of syllables to mark the end of the performance. So you all can see here, uh, some of you must have seen uh, and performed Kathak and others may have watched Ras and you find so many sim similarities because the region, the social, the political, cultural uh, oneness and so and so forth. This, now as you know the Ras is two parts, Ras and Leela. Leela is the second part in which different fables or stories related to Lord Krishna are enacted and presented. This epilogue features different dramatic present presentations of Krishna Leela. Ras artists handpick their favorite anecdotes and present them passionately. The choice of dramatic content keeps changing dynamically over the years. The choice for presenting a specific Leela happens differently for different spectator sets. The Vallabha community prefers watching anecdotes relating to Krishna stealing butter, defeating Kansa and so much. Radha Vallabha community prefer watching incidents of marital ceremony, engagement, celebrations and such. She Nimbark community likes witnessing incidents of reuniting with family and Chaitanya Mahaprabhu Followers prefer to see acts of separation from loved ones. Apart from Mahaprabhu Vallabhacharya, Ras has proliferated under Swami Haridas, Sri Hithari Vanshacharya, Sri Ghamandev, Sri Narayan Bhatta. It was Sri Narayan Bhatta who introduced the act of presenting Krishna Leela in the second half of the Ras performance. Another addition in our discourse on finding similarity and exchange of activities between Kathak and Ras is the art of taking a chakkar, revolving in a circular motion while on one's knees. Can you imagine this circulating, taking the pirouettes on your knees? This is also one of the Padabedas, Garuda Mandala. Among the actors, when the character of Lord Krishna presents his dance, then he rests on his knees and spins around the stage, which is the ending act of Leela. This is indeed a pleasurable sight. It seems as if the Kathak artists have sought inspiration from these Ras performers and experiment with the art of knee chakras in Kathak. Famous Kathak artists from Banaras Gharana Pandit Gopi Krishna used, used various innovative techniques in his performances. He was famous for perf performing different styles of rotations during his dancing years. He was known to be the most 
talented in performing the above mentioned chakras while on his nose. An important syllable among the dancers is dilang in ras. The syllable dilang is used in conjunction with the word tak for example tak dilang, tak dilang. The dilang syllables is used freely in kathak. One can see the following you know we can say thikata thikata dilanga taka dilanga toi dim dilanga taka to ta dilanga dik dilanga dik taka to tim to dim de tum de tum dilanga 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 taka gadigina thai gadigina thai gadigina thai the composition is such a creation which is incorporated both in las as well as in kathak in the prologue portion of the ras, which is the dance segment, the action is performed on five chief compositions. The above stated example that I just spoke for one of the five compositions. This was presented in different ways in the dance choreography by the very famous Kathak dancer and guru from Jaipur Gharana, late Sri Sundar Prasad ji. This is a living and qual quantifiable example of exchange between the Ras Leela culture and the Jaipur Gharana of Kathak. Apart from this, Toda, Paran, Vandana, Ganesh Paran and Stuti and other elements of Kathak also feature in Ras. While performing on the Dhilanga syllables, the character playing Krishna in Ras performs, keeps both of his hands in a Pushpaputta mudra rising above his head and he flings the body in the air and lands on the ground. Some dancers perform this act in a very graceful manner. Uh, the author or the expert have received training in a special form of Uthav from the Guruji Pandit Rajendra Gangani. This Uthan was a creation of the great guru late Kundalan Gangani ji. A speciality of this Uthan is that the dance is inspired by the Angarasa in which the artist touches the ground on his knees and then immediately rises up. This special creation is very special and it is in Tintal with the Vilambit play. Tahiye Tat dat thai, tat thai, ta thai, ta thai, ta thai, ta digda tat. Ta thai e thai, ta thai, ta digda thai, ta thai, ta tat. Thai ta thai, ta thai, 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 ta thai. This beat is an example of angatal used in dance. Looking from perspective of acting via expression, there are again many similarities. Kathak dance presentation begins with a Devi or Devastuti and similarly Ras performance begin with a Mangala Charan, normally in, uh, rendered in Sanskrit in which veneration to Guru and Lord Krishna is performed. Like Shri Krishna Manoharaya Yoga Traya and such. The Ashtachap poets have written some very famous couplets which have been used in both Kathak and Ras performances. For example, look at this creation by Suradas, which is performed as a prime expression by the Jaipur Gharana of Kathak. Uh, this creation in Sat Matrik Tala and is Nachata Sugandha Shri Nanda Nanda and the same creation has been sung among Ras troops by Adishtat Swamiji himself. After invoking Lord Krishna, Radha and Gopikas come and dance on stage. Swamiji would sing this composition himself. The only difference between the two dance forms is that Ras, the composition was sung in Rag Dhrupad and in Kathak the composition is sung and presented as a modern reverence sung in Angatala. The Bhakti era was nothing short of an age of resurrection for the arts. 
During these times, the poets, dancers, singers, musicians, art exponents, painters, all would collaborate together and be active partners in development and upliftment of the arts. The bo best poem of these times would essentially also reflect on a popular dance form. Poets would also start taking interest in dance related artistic experiments. Uh, you know, the um, famous uh, poetry of Nandadas is adapted both in Ras and Kathak. Keeping in mind the importance of the role of the Sutradhar in Natya Shastra, the Acharya mentioned earlier pattern the Sutradhar's role in staging a Ras Leela and created Swami for the Ras troops. According to the Kutub Vinyas in the Natya Shastra, all the members of the Ras troop were arranged in a specific manner, like making the singers and musical instrument players sit to the right side of the stage in a predetermined place. The sitting arrangements of the supporting artist in Kathak is quite similar to this. Apart from this, the opening dance performance in Ras, Pratyahar, Avartan, Arambhya, Ashtavani, Vallapani, Margasarita and Shankhotana. After all these activities of Purvaranga, different pindi are also arranged. Earlier this dance portion was essayed in Gamar format. On the literally front, Sanskrit is used extensively both in Kathak and Ras by the experts. In olden days, Ras performances use text from Sanskrit directly. In the 15th century, Mahaprabhu Vallabhacharya began the practice of using Braj Bhasha instead of Sanskrit in the Ras Leela performance. Ras dancers used both the text and the manuscript. The story structures of Ras dances is majorly performance oriented, but some essential portions necessarily incorporate the text form from the scriptures. In the middle of the Ras, in the middle portion of the Ras, in special places to develop a humor, a character named Manasukha is created, who is similar to Vidusha in Sanskrit traditional theatre form. In terms of expression, Ras performances incorporate all from Angika, Vachika, Satvika, Aharya in a ritualistic manner. This way we can say that classical dance performances find its voice today in Kathak and Ras Leela forms. Kathak and Ras, both traditions have many similarities. Both traditions have developed independently over the years, but have constantly complemented and coordinated with each other in a constructive manner and have been positively inspired from each other. This is one very important to be positively inspired and feeding each other. Namaste. <laughs>